News in downtown LA where a group of protesters is calling for a ceasefire in Gaza. They're doing it along the 110 freeway in downtown LA. KTLA's Alina Bovian live at the scene now with the latest. Selena, good morning. Frank, just good morning. Well, this is Beaudry and Wilshire, and while they are not disrupting traffic this morning, they certainly are getting a lot of attention from people driving on the 110 freeway. They have a sign up, and you can see the protesters over my shoulder here. Not a big group, but they certainly do have a message. So I'd like to bring in Noah Kupitz. She's one of the organizers for today. Noah, good morning to you. What is your message? Introduce your group. I'm here with If Not Now. We're a movement of American Jews working to end U.S. support of occupation and apartheid in Israel-Palestine. And today we are calling for an immediate ceasefire, which includes an exchange of the hostages and an end of the siege on Gaza. And today we're out here in downtown Los Angeles near the local DNC offices demanding that President Biden and the DNC call for an immediate lasting ceasefire. Let's take a look if we step over this way so they can see the protesters. Again, it's not a big group and they certainly are not causing uh, any disruption to the traffic this morning. I do want to point out the 110 freeway on both sides is open and is moving. But you are here. You have a sign. What does the sign say? Our sign says Biden and DNC ceasefire now. And we're here as American Jews using our voices, but really using the power of messaging with our banners this morning to get our point across and clear before the State of the Union. And Vice President Kamala Harris, she said over the weekend she acknowledges the devastation in Gaza and she is calling for a ceasefire for the next six weeks, but you're saying that's not enough. That's not enough. It's a great first step. We appreciate that Kamala Harris has had the moral courage to call out what's happening in Gaza as unacceptable, but we need her to call for a lasting ceasefire now, and we need the entire Biden administration to call for a lasting ceasefire now and an exchange of the hostages. And so what is the plan this morning? Will you be uh, demonstrating elsewhere? Today, we're just here near the DNC offices in downtown Los Angeles, but across the country, if not now, chapters are demonstrating outside of their local DNC offices and at other locations that are connected to the Biden administration. Thank you so much, Noah, for your time. And so the message certainly is resonating with people driving on the 110 freeway this morning because we're hearing the honking. So hopefully their message also reaches uh, where they need it to go. But that is the very latest. I'm Lena Berman reporting live here in downtown. LA, KTLA 5 News.